Hello Dolphin users, this is one quick start video on how to install the software for the DFL latest hardware with 3 ports, 2 SATA and 1 IDE. If you are using this kind of hardware, then this video is your best guide. Or you can use this document. First, let's download the software for your hardware. You can find the software from the Dolphin official forum, the forum.dolphindatalab.com. So you can download the software from this forum website. After you download the software, then you can double click the software, for example the DDP, to install the software. Simply follow the steps to install it. After you install the software, you can get one software icon on the desktop. Next, let's go to the installation folder. Okay, here is the installation folder. You can find the drivers are inside and th this is one uh, icon to install the running environment. Users can double click to install the running environment. For some pieces, this kind of running environment has been installed, so you don't need, you don't need to install it again. Next, we need to install the drivers for the hardware. So, connect the DFL hardware to the PC with the USB 3 cable and connect the hardware external power supply cable, like this one. This is a USB 3 cable and this is the external power supply cable. After you connect these two cables, then Go to the device manager. Within the device manager, please note, on the disk drives you will find the three channels, that means the three working, po working ports, the SATA, SATA0, SATA1. So three ports. Under other devices, this one is the hardware device. This one is a COM port. So you need to install the, the drivers for these two so that they are recognized correctly. Now let's install the driver for the COM port first. Update the driver so uh, software. Let's find the right driver location. Uh, my system is the Windows 7 64-bit, the COM4 64-bit, 3 ports device, COM4 64-bit, click OK, and click Next. Ah, OK, to install the COM port driver, uh, you cannot install it directly like this way. So what to do? Then let's go to the installation folder. Uh, find the drivers. Com port for 64 bit. Click to install it. Okay, double click to install the driver. Go to the device manager. At this time, go to the ports. You can find the COM driver has been installed successfully. It has disappeared, disappeared from the other devices. So next, let's go to install the driver for the 
hardware device. Find its driver. Drivers 64 bit. Let me say okay. Next. Install this driver. Okay. So we have installed the drivers for the hardware device. However, at this time, it's not detecting. It's not detect correctly. So we need to sign the driver because it's one 64-bit operating system. So you need to sign the driver. To sign this driver, you need to use one special driver signing program digital driver signing program double click on it click next yes enable test mode uh, sign a system file next okay let's find the driver to sign. Now I will show you how to find the driver. Here is the parse example. Let's go to the C Windows System 32. Uh, click the drivers. Okay, we can search drivers. This is the driver we are going to sign. Okay, this is the drivers. Let's copy the parts first. Copy the parts. Uh, then let's copy the name. Copy the name. Yeah, click it. Okay. The system file has been signed successfully. Okay. Click exit. So now we have signed the we have signed the drivers. So this step to sign the driver, this step is required only for Windows 64-bit uh, operating system. If you are using the Windows 32-bit operating system, then you don't need to sign the driver. After signing drivers, then we need to restart the PC and the drivers will be recognized correctly by the PC. Click on software icons desktop and follow the yeah. So this is very important. Now we need to restart the PC. Okay, let's restart the PC.